Hello everybody, Crips here, and as always, thanks for joining me. So uh, I'm going to show you a really cool way to incorporate or combine uh, Motion Studio 3D from Corral with uh, Adobe After Effects. Uh, and it's very simple to do, and it's, uh, and as you know, Corral Motion Studio 3D can make some really, really cool 3D objects. Uh, even, even though it's text, it's still technically an object. So everything that's created in 3D is an object. And then you can add some you know, nice effects to it. Now, wouldn't it be great if you can use all this, what you've created in Motion Studio, and then import that into your Adobe After Effects and continue working with some really cool effects in Adobe? And how do I do that? Well, let's go into After Effects. All right, so uh, I've got it ready imported into After Effects. Now, how do I go... Going it from this, as you can see, it's the same words. It's still got everything applied to it. The shadow effect, everything. How do I go f making it from this transparent looking uh, text to this super cool crisp grips text? All right, uh, I'll show you. Very simple. It's just a matter of making sure you save it in the right format. So go File, Create Video File. Uh, AVI, go options, go into your AVI tab and just go from a 24-bit, you guessed it, 32-bit and that is how you can go to a straight alpha because if you don't then you're left with that transparent look. Okay, so that's how you do it. So <clears throat> whatever you've done to your text here and your project, your object, once you're done you must save it as a 32 and I'll show you exactly what I mean. If you go into the alpha channel, you can see it is a true alpha. If I go into the 24 bit that I showed you earlier, it's not a true alpha. It's it's 32. It's a 24 bit, so it's not going to be as um, as crisp. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Make sure you import it or save it as a 32 uh, GB RGB. Okay, let's go back. Now you can add uh, even if you just make an image image file, a JPEG file then obviously you can add your own effects from After Effects. So I've got the shadow here, uh, which is kind of cool. And as you, if you're really good with After Effects, you can do some amazing things. Now before I used to do uh, import this, I tried to make the, the letters <laughs> in After Effects, you know, the, probably the, the most common and cheesy ways most people do, I guess. Well, <laughs> my cheesy way, I guess, but that's about it. I just controlled the uh, duplicated and just kept making it and more and more until I got what I wanted, added a, a solid layer and then you know kept doing it that way and that's that's one way of doing it. It's uh, it's cheesy I know but that was one way to do it. But I don't need to do that anymore because I can use Corel Motion Studio. All right uh, now before I go on, I'm going to show you something else that's kind of neat. Uh, here is a, a little bomb blast that I made in Particle Illusion. Okay. Now, if I want to uh, remove the black background, you will most likely go for um, uh, into screen. Let me just toggle this. Yeah, okay, screen. Uh, yes, it did remove the black, but it kind of made the the effect uh, a little bit transparency. Let me show that more on this picture here. You can see it's a little bit transparent. It's not really that sharp. So I've lost a lot of the uh, the clarity of the quality of it. So how do I improve this? Well, let's go back into normal mode. All right, if you go to uh, redgiant.com, I'll put the link in the description, Red Giant here, go into the download section and download this free plugin called Null Unmalt. And once you have that free, uh, free plugin, just put it in your plugin folder and it'll come up underneath your uh, effects and preset. Just type in UNM and here it is. If I add this effect now to it, watch what happens. Let me get to something like really bright. There you go, something bright. Look at that. Much sharper compared to just doing the screen effect. Now I got a much sharper looking uh, explosion. So then I can combine the two, I guess. I'm going to blow up my name. There you go. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you can combine Motion Studio with After Effects. Just remember, always make sure you save your work in 32-bit RGB. And as always, thanks for watching.